Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Sea Sucker cable lock with the window anchor here at eTrailer. So if you use a Sea Sucker roof rack or any other Sea Sucker accessories, they're awesome because they vacuum cup mount to the top of your roof. The downside though is that there are no integrated locks because as easy as it is to take that off and put it right into your trunk, it can also make it easier for people to grab your system and go. So that's where locks like these come in handy. This is an offering from Sea Sucker. It's going to be a window anchor lock, which means it goes right into your window and creates an anchor point for the cable lock included with this kit. Included with this kit is going to be five laser cut keys, your cable, as well as your anchor. But you could also use this with any of your own cable locks if you prefer them, if they are longer and fit around your bike better, or if you have your locks key to like and want to utilize that. So let's talk about those specs and measurements. So the anchor itself is going to have a hole that's an inch and a quarter in diameter. So if any of your cable locks are within that diameter, they can fit right through there. The space the anchor takes up on your window is going to be two and three quarter inches apart. Now for the types of windows that can be used with this, I do not recommend if you have tinted windows and you want to prevent that tint from being scratched or if you have frameless windows. The cable lock itself has an easy to use handle as well as a dust cover. So if you just pop that dust cover over to the side, you can use one of your five included laser cut keys to unlock it. Just make sure to hold on to your cable as you do so, so this doesn't drop back towards your vehicle. So the length of your cable lock is going to be six feet long, which is actually pretty short if you want to wrap this around your wheel as well as your frame and then go into the window anchor. So I personally recommend if you do have a longer cable lock, you can use that. We have options from Malone that's eight feet long. We also have the e-trailer cable lock as well as an option for you. So it's really easy just to put this onto your window and then you can wrap your cable lock around your bike and then into the anchor. Because I'm not comfortable with putting this on my bike and then driving down the road with it, I would really just use this while I'm parked and if I have to run into the grocery store real quick, I can just wrap this around, put this in there and then I'll feel safe about it while I go shop. So for that reason, it is a good thing that's very quick and easy to do. In fact, let's take a look at that process. So here's your window anchor. You're just going to put it onto your window. You have those tabs right over there and then just close your window on it. Then you're just going to run the cable around your bike. It is kind of a short cable though, so just keep that in mind. And then we're going to put this into the lock. So once you pop that right in, you can hear it click. Then you can remove the key and then you have a dust cover. So just pop that over your lock core. And just like that, your bike is locked up. So I actually use the monkey bars on my vehicle whenever I need to put something real quick on there. If I need a roof rack system or if I just want to look cool while I drive down the road. But whenever I do that, it does take a little bit of time to take it apart and put it into my trunk. So I actually use cable locks or security straps with the monkey bars when I have it parked. So some options for you would be this Sea Sucker cable lock. Great if you want to use your own cable locks or if you want something strong and sturdy. The downside obviously is going to be that it does make contact with your window and you can't use these with, let's say, those rain gutters or wind deflectors. If that's the case, there are other options for you too. I actually use the Thule multi-purpose locking straps. Those I wrap around my roof rack and I pop right into my car and I just close the door on that. In fact, you could use that with pretty much any cam buckle strap. So if you want to check out those Thule locking straps, I did a video on that right here at eTrailer as well. We also have other options like lock straps and those are just different ways of securing your bike while you have it parked or while you're on the road. 
Now as for this, this is definitely going to be sturdier than those styles of straps because you have the entire cable. And then if you want your heavy duty cable, this gives you the placement for them. So definitely a good option for your Sea Sucker vacuum cup mounted products. This was a look at the Sea Sucker cable lock and the window anchor here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.